What well, saw a new wave of migrants Monday night. Mexican authorities learning when they were entering the city and went to do status checks on them. ABC 7's Eriberto Perez joins us live from the border wall with more details. Eriberto. Sam, that's right. Good evening. Some of these migrants said they traveled on a train for five days just to get to Juarez, but they didn't like how local authorities received them. Este, nos topamos con policía y nos sentimos acorralados completamente como si fuéramos una rata. This migrant is saying they felt cornered like if they were rats. Se llevaron a unos compañeros que andaban conmigo. Some of them claiming they took away some people they knew. Llegó migración y nos persiguió, nos corrieron. Some migrants said migration agents chased them and asked them to go away. On Tuesday, the state government spoke about the latest migrant situations Juarez has had. Oscar Ibáñez is the representative of the Chihuahua governor in Juarez. He asks the federal government to help and assist the city and the state with the migrant search. On Monday morning, the mayor of Juarez said authorities are losing patience with the migrants' actions and behaviors. Pues a las autoridades no se nos puede acabar la paciencia. Representative Ibáñez says authorities can't lose patience with the migrant situation. Eh, no, no estamos para que se nos acabe la paciencia. According to multiple reports, hundreds of migrants got to downtown Juarez in trains on Monday night. Ahorita estamos viendo alrededor de unas 200 personas aquí. Eh, pues estamos a expectativa porque... And Mr. Valenzuela was saying that last night they checked on 200 people in downtown Juarez, but they were expecting four or 500 more. Authorities in Juarez asked them to go to local city shelters. Reporting live at the U.S.-Mexico border, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. All right, Heriberto, thank you for that report.